preface to the cambridge book of poetry for children edited by kenneth graham this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by leonard wilson of springfield ohio the cambridge book of poetry for children by kenneth graham preface in compiling a selection of poetry for children a conscientious editor is bound to find himself confronted with limitations so numerous as to be almost disheartening for he has to remember that his task is not to provide simple examples of the whole range of english poetry but to set up a wicket gate giving attractive admission to that wide domain with its woodland glades its pasture and arable its walled and scented gardens here and there and so to its sunlit and sometimes misty mountain tops all to be more fully explored later by those who are tempted on by the first glimpse and always he must be proclaiming to the small tourists that there is joy light and fresh air in that delectable country briefly i think that blank verse generally and the drama as a whole may very well be left for readers of a riper age indeed i believe that those who can ignore the plays of shakespeare and his fellow elizabethans till they are sixteen will be no losers in the long run the bulk too of seventeenth and eighteenth century poetry bending under its burden of classical form and crowded classical allusion requires a completed education and a wide range of reading for its proper appreciation much else also is barred there are the questions of subject of archaic language and thought and of vocational expression which will occur to every one then there is dialect and here one has to remember that these poems are intended for use at the very time that a child is painfully acquiring a normal often quite arbitrary orthography is it fair to that child to hammer into him perhaps literally that porridge is spelt porridge and next minute to present it to him in an official reader under the guise of parich i think not and i have accordingly kept as far as possible to the normal though at some loss of material in the output of those writers who have deliberately written for children it is surprising how largely the subject of death is found to bulk dead fathers and mothers dead brothers and sisters dead uncles and aunts dead puppies and kittens dead birds dead flowers dead dolls a compiler of obituary verse for the delight of children could make a fine fat volume with little difficulty i have turned off this mournful tap of tears as far as possible preferring that children should read of the joy of life rather than revel in sentimental thrills of imagined bereavement there exists moreover any quantity of verse for children which is merely verse and nothing more it lacks the vital spark of heavenly flame and is useless to a selector of poetry and then there is the whole corpus of verse most of it of the present day which is written about children and this has even more carefully to be avoided when the time comes that we send our parents to school it will prove very useful to the compilers of their primers all these restrictions have necessarily led to two results first that this collection is chiefly lyrical and that after all is no bad thing lyric verse may not be representative of the whole range of english poetry but as an introduction to it as a wicket gate there is no better portal 
the second result is that it is but a small sheaf that these gleanings amount to but for those children who frankly do not care for poetry it will be more than enough and for those who love it and delight in it no selection could ever be sufficiently satisfying kenneth graham october nineteen fifteen End of preface. This recording is in the public domain.